আড়াই তিনকা ছোপড়া কুই গাইড আড়াই তিনকা ছোপড়া ওভার ভিউ আড়াই দিনকা ছোপড়া ইজ এ মস্ক বিল্ট অন দ্য রুইনস অফ অ্যান ওল্ড সংস্কৃত কলেজ মোহাম্মদ ঘড়ি অর্ডার দ্যাট এ মস্ক শুড বি বিল্ট উইদ ইন সিক্সটি আওয়ার্স সো দ্যাট হি ক্যান অফার প্রেয়ার্স সো দ্য ওয়ার্কার্স ট্রাইড বাট কুড নট কমপ্লিট দ্য টাস্ক বাট দে ওয়ার অ্যাবেল টু বিল্ড স্ক্রিন ওয়াল ওয়ার মোহাম্মদ ঘড়ি could offer press ajmer ajmer is one of the popular cities of rajasthan due to the presence of the darga of sufi saint khaja mainuddin chisti it is not confirmed but history says that The city was founded either by Ajay Raja I or Ajay Raja II who belonged to Zakambari Chaman dynasty. Besides the Darga, another pilgrimage site is Pushkar which is 10 km away from Ajmer. Visiting Hours আড়াই দিনকা ছোপড়া ক্যান বি ভিজিটেড ফ্রম সেভেন এম ইন দ্য মর্নিং টু সেভেন পি এম ইন দ্য ইভিনিং দ্য মনুমেন্ট ইজ ওপেন অন অল ডেজ ইনক্লুডিং দ্য পাবলিক হলিডেজ দেয়ার ইজ নথিং মাচ টু সি ইন দ্য মনুমেন্ট বাট স্টিল ইট বে টেক রাউন্ড ওয়ান আওয়ার টু ভিজিট দ্য হোল মনুমেন্ট টিকিটস There is no entry fee to visit the mosque and people can visit it any time during the visiting hours. Best time to visit. Best time to visit Ajmer and the mosque is from November to March as the climate is very pleasant. So January is very chilly but still people will enjoy visiting the city during this period. where to stay as the city of ajmer is very popular for its darga and arai din ka chopra there are many hotels in which tourist can stay there are cheap hotels and star hotels where people can enjoy their stay according to their budget some of the hotels with their location are as follows five star hotels Dera Masuda located at Mutisar Road Pushkar Arambagh located at Ganahera Pushkar Ananta Spa and Resorts located at Leela Savri Pushkar The Gateway Resorts located at Pushkar Bypass Jaipur Road Ajmer WH Royal Tents located at Mobile Camp Pushkar Four Star Hotels Country Inn and Suites by Carlson located at Sushant City. Hotel Chitvan located at Jaipur Road. Paradiso Resort located at Jaipur Road. Grand Zenia located opposite Chiriya Bauri, Kishangar. Pushkar Resorts located at Motisha Road, Pushkar. Three star hotels. Hotel Plaza in located near Darga Sharif. Regal Hotel located at Darga Road, Ganj. Hotel Tata Inn located at Srinagar Road. Hotel Vega Inn located at Jaipur Road. Hotel Man Singh Palace located at Vaishali Nagar. Budget or two star hotels. Hotel Regency located outside Delhi Gate. Hotel Tribo Siddharth located at Jaipur Road. Hotel Royal Palace located inside Delhi Gate. Hotel Imperial Palace located Darga Road. Hotel Star located outside Delhi Gate. Cheap or one star hotels. Haveli Heritage Inn located at Kuchari Road. 
Hotel Baba Palace located at Dorga Road. Hotel Sri Shibham Palace located at Dorga Sharip. Hotel Omni Palace located at Jaipur Road. Hotel Mannat Palace and Restaurant located at Dorga Sharip. Arai Din Ka Chopra A Story Arai Din Ka Chopra is a mosque that is said to be built within two and a half days by the order of Muhammad Ghori. The Sultan ordered the mosque to be built within 60 hours and the workers work day and night but were only able to construct a screen wall so that the Sultan could offer his prayers. Arai Dinka Chopra under Chauhan dynasty. During the period of Chauhan dynasty, there was a Sanskrit college built by Bigraho Raja IV, also known as Bishala Deva, who belonged to Shakambhari, Chauhan or Chauhan dynasty. The college was built in square ship and a dome shaped pavilion was constructed on each corner of the building. A temple was also there that was dedicated to Goddess Saraswati. The construction of the building includes the feature of Hindu and Jain architecture. Some historians say that the mosque was built by the materials used after the destruction of some old and abandoned Hindu temples. Others say that the Sanskrit college was a college of the Jainas. The local people say that Sith Viram Deva constructed the college to celebrate Panch Kallanaka. The mosque was constructed after the defeat of Prithviraj Chauhan III by Muhammad Ghori in the Second Battle of Tarain. Adai Dinka Chopra under Delhi Sultanate. After defeating Prithviraj Chauhan III, once Muhammad Ghori was passing by Ajmer and saw many temples, so he ordered a slave named Kutubuddin Aibak to construct a mosque so that he can offer prayers. The Sultan also ordered that the mosque has to be built within two and a half days. Muhammad Ghori Kutubuddin Aibak. The workers worked hard and were able to construct a screen wall where the Sultan could offer his pairs. The mosque was completed in 1199 according to an inscription. El Totmis, the successor of Kutubuddin Aibak, built a screen wall with arches and inscriptions on it. The inscriptions have the name of El Tutmis and the supervisor named Ahmad ibn Muhammad al Arid. History behind the name The name of the mosque is Arai Dinka Chopra, which means shade of two and a half day. There are many things related to the name of the mosque. According to a legend, the life of a human being is two and a half day on earth. Historians say that there was a fair used to be held for two and a half days in ancient times. Other assumptions say that during the Maratha era, fakirs came to celebrate Ars and so the mosque was started being called Jhopra. Since the hours was held for two and a half days, so the mosque was named as Arai Dinka Jhopra. Arai Dinka Jhopra Architecture 
Araizin Ka Chopra is one of the oldest mosques in India that was built on the basis of Indo-Islamic architecture. Muhammad Ghori ordered the construction of the mosque which was designed by Abu Bakr of Herat who came with the Sultan. Each side of the building has the height of 259 feet. People can enter the mosque from southern and eastern gates. Exterior structure of the mosque Total number of pillars in the mosque were 344 and the actual building had 134 pillars out of which 92 were on the eastern side and 64 were on the other sides. Iltutmis also built a huge screen whose arches were built by using yellow limestone. There are seven arches out of which the largest one has the height of 60 feet, while others are smaller ones. There are small panels in the arch to pass sunlight. The arches also have the verses of the Holy Quran. Along with this, there are inscriptions written in Kufic and Tugra script. Interior structure of the mosque. The measurement of the interior portion is 200 feet into 175 feet. The design of the pillars are similar to the temples of Hindus and Jainas. Historians say that many pillars belong to Hindu and Jain temples but some were constructed by the Muslim rulers. The selling of the mosque are also as combination of Hindu and Islamic architecture. Muajin Towers Muajin Towers are located in two minarets, each having a diameter of 10.5 inches. The location of these materials, these minarets is on the top of the screen, while whose thickness is 11.5 feet. The minarets have angular and circular floors, which were one of the features of constructions of Dili Sultanate. Araizin Ka Jhopra, how to reach? Ajmer is directly linked to many major and small cities of India via rail and road network. Ajmer does not have its airport, but Jaipur and Delhi are the nearest airports from where many domestic and foreign flights depart. Khaja Garib Nawaj, Ajmer Darga Sarif, Bulan Darwaja, Garib Nawaj Guest House, Khaja Baba, Arai Dinka Chopra. Distance of some of the major cities from Ajmer is as follows Ajmer to Jaipur by rail 98 km, by road 130 km, Ajmer to Delhi by rail 444 km. By road 403 km. Ajmer to Ratlam by rail 375 km. By road 403 km. Ajmer to Chittorgarh by rail 178 km. By road 191 km. Ajmer to Udaipur by rail to 90 km by road to 271 km. Ajmer to Agra by roll 363 km by road 371 km. Ajmer to Ahmedabad by rail 485 km by road 555 km. 
Ajmer to Marwar by rail 140 km by road 174 km. By air, Ajmer does not have airport but the nearest international airport is Sanganer Airport of Jaipur which is around 130 km away from Ajmer. Tourists who want to visit arrive in Kachopra can come to Jaipur by air and then catch a train or bus or hire a taxi to come to Ajmer. By train, Ajmer is well connected to many cities in India through railway networks Rajdhani, Shatabdi, Jan Shatabdi, Uribrath, Garibrath, super fast and fast trains along with passenger trains have stoppage here. Many trains also originate and terminate here. The trains connect Ajmer to all the metropolitan cities except Chennai. Loda Haveli, Lakshmi Mahulla, Darga Bypass Road, Khaja Garib Nawaj, Khaja Bata, Ajmer Junction, Sahit Samarak, Tobdara Gandhi, Vavan Circle, Water Tank, Darga Bajar Road, Araidin Ka Jhopra, Garib Nawaj Colony, Noor Colony, Deggi Bajar, Parao, By road, Rajasthan State Road Transport Corporation runs deluxe and semi-deluxe AC and non-AC buses from Ajmer to Delhi, Jaipur, Mumbai, Allahabad, Lucknow and other places besides this. There are private bus and taxi operators that provide convenience to other cities. Ajmer bus stand 16 minute, 3.3 km, 14 minute, 2.9 km. Arai Dinka Chopra, Paul Sagi Road, Pai Sagar Road, Kaura Path, Anasagar Lake. Local transport tourists can move around Ajmer either through auto rickshaw or taxis, which can be hired for a fixed period of time. Another mode of local transport is the local bus, which carries people to their destination. Araidin Kajopra, nearby places. Araidin Kajopra is one of the popular places which the tourists come to. Visit. There are many other places which the tourists can visit and the most important one is the Dorga of Khaja Mailuddin Chiste. Some of the places to visit in Ajmer are as follows. Khaja Mailuddin Chiste Dorga. Khaja Mailuddin Chiste Dorga is also known as Ajmer Sharif Dorga where people of different communities Khaja Magnuddin Chesti Darga. Khaja Magnuddin Chesti Darga is also known as Ajmer Sharif Darga, where people of different communities come to pray and ask for their needs. The Darga was built by Shah Jahan. Nijam Gate is the main gate from where people can make an entry to the building. The Nijam Gate is followed by Shah Jahani Gate, which is further followed by Bulan Darwaja built by Muhammad Khilji. Nasian Jaina Temple. Nasian Jaina Temple, also known as Ajmer Jaina Temple and Sony Jiki Nasian, was built in
Nasiyan Jaina Temple. Nasiyan Jaina Temple, also known as Ajmer Jaina Temple and Soni Jiki Nasiyan, was built in 19th century. There are several images in the main chamber called Shar Nagari. These images are made with wood and plated with gold. The temple mainly belongs to Degambara Jains and uh, is dedicated to Lord Rishabdev, the first Thankara Jains. The construction of the temple was started in 1864 and Lord Rishabdev's image was installed in 1865. Anna Shagar Lake. Anna Shagar Lake was built by the grandfather of Pithi Rachowan, whose name was. Amuraja, also called Anna. Anna Sagar Lake. Anna Sagar Lake was built by the grandfather of Prithi Rachovan, whose name was Amuraja, also called Anna. The lake covers an area of 13 km. The pavilions known as Baladari were constructed by Shah Jahan in 1637. There is a garden called Daulat Bagh, which was constructed by Jahangir. Shah Jahan's Mosque. Shah Jahan's Mosque in Ajmer lies within the precincts of the Darga of Khaja Mainuddin Chesti. Shah Jahan built this mosque due to a bow which ha has taken during the Mewar campaign. The dimensions of the mosque is 148 feet into 25 feet. The mosque was built by using white marble and there are five entrances from where people can either enter the mosque. The main area where prayer is applied is built on a platform where people can go through a staircase. Akbar's Palace. Akbar's Palace is a beautiful monument in Ajmer which was built in 1570 AD. Akbar frequently visited Ajmer for pilgrimage, so he built the palace as a residence for himself. The palace was built in such a way that the attackers could not enter the palace and attack the persons. Akbar's Palace. Akbar's Palace is a beautiful monument in Ajmer which was built in 1570 AD. Akbar frequently visited Ajmer for pilgrimage so he built the palace as a residence for himself. The palace was built in such a way that the attackers could not enter the palace and attack the persons inside. The palace is surrounded by two magnificent walls. It is the same palace where meeting between Jahangir and Sir Thomas Rowe was held. During the British period, the palace was named as Rajputana Arsenal. In 1908, a portion of the palace was converted into a museum. <laughs> 